Hello everyone, my name is John Carlos and today I'm going to be showing you a quick overview of the workspace in Inkscape. So let's head on over to Inkscape. Now a quick note, the first time you open up Inkscape, it is going to take a little while to open up, but after that first initial um, install, it should open up pretty quickly. Okay, so here is the workspace window. I'm going to grab that bottom right hand corner um, handle and drag that to increase the window size. Now everything you see here is the Inkscape workspace and this video is going to be fairly short. I'm just going to be showing you what the different toolbars do and how to move around in the Inkscape workspace. So to start off let's head over to the menu bar up top and I'm going to show you something if you go to file document properties. Now the default uh, Inkscape page size is A4 so every time you open up a Inkscape um, window it's going to be A4 paper size and you can always change that if you go to documents and properties I mean file document properties and here you're going to see where it says page size there's um, a whole bunch of different presets that Inkscape gives you for different page sizes and you can click on those choose them depending on what you're making if not you can always come down here to custom size and always change the height and width to whatever you're working on for that project you can also change the orientation from portrait to landscape depending on what you're working on today we're just going to leave it on portrait and close that window going back to the menu bar up here you see file edit view layer and this menu bar is going to look very similar to what you are used to in different applications. Um, I'm not really going to go into what each tab has. Uh, you can go and play around with that yourself in your um, Inkscape program. Today I'm just going to be showing you some of the different um, toolbars. So below the menu bar is the command bar and the command bar has a lot of the same features that the menu bar has except that Inkscape puts them down here in different icons so that it's a lot easier for you just to click on them when you're trying to do stuff quickly. Now an interesting thing to note is that if you hover over one of these icons you get to see what the icon does and you also get a shortcut for that um, certain task. So for saving is control s for printing is control p and so on and so forth now um, i want to note for mac users usually um inside mac a lot of the shortcuts um use command the command key um inside inkscape though you are going to have to use the control so control s control c control v depending on what you're doing so okay below the command bar is the tools control bar and an interesting thing about the tools control bar is that it is going to change depending on what tool you have selected so you can see up here that it's changing every time I select a new tool in a tool tools control bar um, it a lot of stuff that you see there just helps you out to tweak um, different things that you're doing with that tool so here I can like change the width and the force. To the right side of the tools control bar is the snap bar and the snap bar has different buttons that once selected help tweak how nodes interact with each other and how objects interact with each other. Now I'm going to be making a video later on to explain what each, each one of these um, buttons do um, but for now just you know know that over here on the right is the snap bar. Up top below the tools control bar it are the rulers so you have a ruler there and you also have a ruler here on the left side next to the toolbox so you can actually play around with this you can position it where you want to and this is really going to help you make sure your layouts are clean aligned um, and everything works uniformly now like I was saying, over here on the left side is the toolbox. And inside the toolbox, you're going to have almost all the tools you use in Inkscape. And you can just select them. You can use them. And like like I said before, you can 
hover over each one of these icons and it's going to tell you what it is and what the shortcut is for them. So this one is create rectangles. You, know, you have different shapes you can use. If you hit delete, once you select them, you can delete those. Now, on the bottom of the window, you're going to see the color palette. Now, the color palette is just a quick and easy way to change colors and different objects that you create. So if I make a square here, I can make sure you have it selected. And once you have it selected, you can just click on any of these colors and change the color. You can also click down here and this window is going to pop up, which is the fill and stroke window. And that window is going to help you to fine tune your colors. You can click X and it's going to disappear. If you need it again, just click on it. Now this area here, this is called the style indicator. It's going to tell you if you have a stroke, if it's going to, it's going to tell you if you have fill and what the color is. Um, you can also play around with the layers here. You can turn on the visibility. You can lock the object so that way you can't move it. You can also see the different layers you have. Right now we only have one layer. Next to the layer information is a no notification window. So right now it's telling us that we have no object selected. If we click on an object, you see how it changes and it tells you what the object is and in which layer it is. Say we add another object. Now they're both rectangles. We can go up here to layer and to the layers panel. And we can see layer one, we can change the name if we want to anything we want, depending on what's what's in the layers. And then down here, you're gonna see it's gonna change names too. So let's delete these, close this window. Another thing I want to show you guys is the pointer position. So over here, you're going to see an X and Y value with different numbers, and it's going to tell you where on the page your pointer is. Right next to the pointer position information is the zoom information. So the zoom information is going to tell you how zoomed in you are. If you click on the different arrows, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. A nice shortcut is if you hit the minus key or the plus key on the keyboard. You can also zoom in and zoom out there. And that concludes the video for today. Um, check out the other videos and we'll get started on learning more things you can do in Inkscape. Thank you.